Well, this video is about resonance, which is the pi electrons moving around. All right, let's touch down on the Star Destroyer. And let's shift this geezer out of the way so we can take a look down his telescope. Excuse me. Smash it. Well, I've asked the spaceships in the Star Wars universe to line up to look like an ozo molecule, O3. Now, notice that every oxygen has eight valence electrons, but there are two resonance structures or resonance hybrids, if you will, of ozone. One with a double bond on the left and one with a double bond on the right. And you can see that I'm moving around these spaceships, which represent bonds, to show these two resonance hybrids or resonance structures. So double becomes a single, single becomes a double. Now, pi electrons are moving around and causing this to happen. The molecule is actually more stable if it does this. And what's the truth? Is it one extreme or the other? Well, the truth is actually the molecule has an intermediate structure, which we'll look at a bit later. Oh, Dr. Atkinson's on the bridge. Let me just turn my telescope around so I can see him. There are five other resonance structures we need to look at, so I'm going to look at those in a tick. Let me just zoom in on him. He's trying to hide recently because uh, he keeps coming to a sticky end. Oh, he's waving. I jump up and down. So you can see where I am. I forgot, in physics, resonance means that when you apply a rhythmical uh, force to an object, you can destroy it. You don't need to know that for IB chemistry. I think I'm safe. I think it's old, old. Year. And Dr. Atkinson dies his 40-second death at the hands of IB chemistry. Well, next is benzene. I'm going to draw the skeletal structure for that hexagonal with alternating single and double bonds and there are actually two versions of it those are called resonance structures or resonance hybrids essentially the double turns to a single the single turns to a double curly arrows show the movement of these pi electrons curly arrow that's the real word the IB wants you to use so the pi electrons are the doubles and they keep moving around becoming singles so what is benzene? Well, it's carbons in a hexagon, single, double, single, double. There's the structure. Next is the carbonate ion. This has three resonance hybrids, which is they're very similar if you look at them. But the single turns to a double, double turns to a single. And the third one, knows really, no one's really sure what to do. Do you go back to the second? Do you go back to the first? So I'm just leaving it empty. So there are three resonance hybrids for carbonate. Well, you've not done organic chemistry yet, so you've no idea what this is, but this is a carboxylic acid. I'm going to take off the H+, and we're left with that negative ion there. And the resonance now should be looking pretty obvious. Just going to do the same as I've done the last three or four times. That lone pair makes a double. That goes up there to make a lone pair. So these electrons are delocalized, which means they're not in one spot. They're delocalized pi electrons. Delocalized pi electrons from the p orbital, the pi electrons, of course. So if the truth is in between those two extreme structures, how do you show it? Well, let's erase all of those lone pairs and just draw a dotty line. And so that's really a one and a half bond. They have the same lengths and the same strengths as each other. It's not a single and a double. Why do things resonate? Well, it gives them a lower energy, makes them more stable. That's the nitrite iron. Don't eat that. It's linked to stomach cancer. Does look just like ozone. <laughs> Don't breathe that. It gives you lung problems. And again, single to double, double to single. What's the truth? Somewhere in between. Next is nitrate iron. That turns to nitrite in your stomach. So you shouldn't eat that either. Three resonance hybrids. It looks just like the carbonate iron. Except with a C. And a 2 minus. Those are the six that are specifically mentioned in the syllabus that you need to know. Those bonds are one and a third length and strength approximately. It isn't two singles and a double. Nope, nope, nope. And to make it easier to remember, you can rotate it 120 degrees and get the next hybrid and the next one and the next one. 
Ooh, I'm going to make myself sick. And another video's finished.